The following program is a special presentation of District 8 Fellowship of Christian Athletes, the heart and soul in West Ohio sports. I'm Cora Malay from Crestview High School. I was raised to go to church, obey my parents, and follow God. At a very young age, I accepted Jesus into my heart as Lord and Savior of my life, but at the time, I'm not sure I knew what that really meant. Eighth grade was pivotal for me, and the summer following that year, I went to a youth conference. That's where I finally realized that my life is not my own. I wasn't designed to live for me. By accepting Jesus, I was accepting my original purpose to try to live my life to glorify Him. Having the privilege and responsibility of being a student leader at FCA has really helped me to own my faith more and take my walk with God more seriously. I know I am a human and will never be perfect, but I hope and pray that God will work through me so that others will see Him. I don't want to be a hypocritical person who simply calls herself a Christian, but rather someone who is genuinely concerned with living as a follower of Christ. FCA encourages and challenges me to take my walk with Christ more seriously and to be conscious of the example I am setting. One of the major ways I try to make a difference in those around me is simply by my day-to-day -day actions, words, and attitudes. I try to keep a good attitude in school, especially when those around me want to complain. I try to guard what comes out of my mouth and make it wholesome and pleasant. I try to act in ways that exemplify Christ's love. FCA has been a catalyst, forcing me to more seriously think about my actions and how they reflect Christ. I hope to be a softball coach someday and train young women in athletics, but also train and encourage them to be godly women. I'm Derek Day from St. Mary's High School. I'm striving to put peers before me. In practice and in games, I always make a point to fill up my teammates' water bottles, to put away the ball rack, and to pick up shooting shirts. In the past, it has been an unwritten rule to make the freshmen complete such tasks. But I believe that seniors make a difference by showing that talent and seniority shouldn't determine humility. Christ did not put himself, put himself above doing the dirty work and he lived a perfect life. I know that I'm living nowhere near a perfect life, so if Christ served, I should serve too. FCA has impacted me by giving me a platform to share my testimony and other God-inspired messages to people. I believe that God has given me a gift for public speaking, and without FCA, I don't think that I could use my gift to its fullest. At the St. Mary's FCA, we meet during study hall, which allows many non-church-going students to attend because of its convenience. Because of this, I have been able to share God's message to many students who might not hear it anywhere else, and FCA is the only thing to thank for that. I plan to use my nursing degree to further my commitment to service and Christian leadership by serving with enthusiasm. I also know that I will interact with thousands of patients throughout my nursing career, and during these interactions, I know that I will have the opportunity to witness to all of them through my actions and words. I'm Olivia Sober from Parkway High School. My grandma died in elementary school and I couldn't understand why God would allow that to happen. I reconsidered my faith and strayed away from the Bible. That lasted for years and then as a freshman I realized how close-minded I was being. I started studying my Bible again and doing devotions with my friends. That fall I lost my grandpa, but this time I reacted differently. I realized he wasn't suffering anymore and I would see him again someday. As long as I kept my faith in God, I would be okay. I have grown closer in my faith through FCA. I have gotten to know some amazing people, and I've had the privilege of seeing my fellow students give their lives to Christ. FCA has changed our school. More and more people are coming to Christ, and more and more people are stepping up and telling others about Jesus. I am attending Capital University to major in nursing. I want to treat my patients with compassion, kindness, respect, tenderness, and the love that God treats us every day with of our lives. I want to be the nurse that people remember to change their lives. I want them to see Christ. I can't wait for my first patient to ask me what makes me so different from everyone else and how they get what I have. These conversations that will be about God will make my hardest days worth it. I'm Garrett Kisseberth from Corey Ross in high school. Growing up, I was always the weird kid. I was a 185 pound sixth grader. Everyone called me fat. I was shy, I only had two friends, and coming back from sixth grade summer into my seventh grade year, I made a drastic change, and all of a sudden, everyone wanted to be my friend. I quickly jumped into a relationship that wasn't centered around my faith in Christ. 
That lasted on and off for two years, and then I went on the Dare to Share retreat with my youth group. I came back and realized this wasn't right for me, so I ended the relationship. It took a while for me to get my own thoughts out of my head. I felt like I didn't deserve God's grace and forgiveness for the mistakes of my life. I had recently been nominated by my teachers at school to be the first leader of the FCA at Koi Rawson. I felt guilty and thought I couldn't be the one to lead these kids, but one morning when I got in my car before school, I found a Bible verse on my seat that my mom had left in there. Joshua 1.9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Be strong, Garrett. You made it through these obstacles. God is ready to use you as a messenger for him now. Do not be afraid to share his word and your experience. Reading that note was a sign from God himself. As soon as I got to school, I talked to Mrs. McFarland, our FCA advisor, and I told her I was ready to lead. I was ready to show and tell of God's love and grace. As a three-sport athlete, I knew leading the FCA, FCA would require a change in actions, on and off the field. I was finally getting my life together as I had tried four years previous. Our FCA started in 2015 with 11 kids. Today we have an average of 21 students show up eager to hear about God's Word. Oftentimes I will find myself having face-to-face -face conversations with kids who think they're not good enough. Though it pained me to share my story at first, now I understand it was all part of God's plan. He put me through the hardships He did so I could connect to the other Corey Rawson students and use my experience to shine His light. I'm Mackenzie Davis from Lincoln View High School. I was raised in a church, but I never had a real faith of my own. Once I began high school, I began attending FCA, which really gave me a boost to pursue my faith. At this time, I started looking for a church to call home. I, be I came across Lifehouse, which is an unconventional church, but offered exactly what I needed to grow in my faith. I have been attending Lifehouse for about three years now, and I have loved every second. I have also recently began attending youth group at Lifehouse, and I now I do believe that my faith has become much stronger and is growing more, now more than ever. I play golf and softball and also participate in FC, FFA, Beta Club, 4-H, Buckeye Ambassadors, Van Wert County Junior Fair Board, National Honor Society, as well as FCA, and encourage my peers to do so as well. By participating in these events, I am able to serve the community, serve my school, and serve my peers. Serving others is a large part of who I am, and it makes me feel complete. FCA has definitely impacted my faith because of FCA I have found my forever church. I have grown to put my trusting to God and all of His greatness. I'm Daniel Burning from Fort Laramie High School. In high school I've always been come across as being kind of a cocky big shot because of all the success I've had in sports. What a lot of people don't know is that when I was in junior high I struggled with getting bullied. I lost all my friends because of the rumors that circulated around school. I became depressed and started relying on worldly things to give me a little bit of joy. I almost quit all the sports that I was involved in because I wanted to get away from my classmates as much as I could. My confidence and self-esteem plummeted and all I could think about was how crappy and, crappy and worthless I was. I had always gone to church and got along with everybody there, but my parents began to sense the ex exclusion that I was feeling at Fort Laramie and started arranging for me to hang around my friends in church more. Ever since then I've been pressing into God and relying on Him more than, the, um, than whatever the world tries to throw at me. This past year I've been asked to give, asked by teachers to give my testimony on the, my experiences in junior high multiple times to classes of 7th and 8th graders to try and spread awareness of the harm that some of the students may be inflicting on their classmates. Summer before my junior year, Pastor Tim LeMaster made an announcement at church that he was willing to help anybody set up an FCA at their school if they didn't have one. I immediately felt God tug at my heart and tell me that I should do this, but I didn't think it was a good idea because I never had any success in getting my classmates to come participate in anything church related. A week before school started, I was at an evening service at church with a few of my buddies. At the end of the sermon, he said, pray for something that you need God's guidance in. And so I prayed about whether I should start FCA. The pastor was walking up and down the aisles and when he walked past mine, he pulled me out, in front, out of the aisle into the aisle and told me that God told me what he was praying for, what I was praying for, and that God was calling me to do this, and that if he was calling me to do this, that he wouldn't let me fail. FCA has impacted my life because it gives me the chance to share my faith in school and know that there are others supporting me. I'm Hope Yale from St. Mary's High School. My whole life I have always been the little shy girl in the corner, but I was somehow always friends with everybody. While looking confident in front of others on the inside, I was very timid. Still to this day, I am shy, but over the years, and especially this past year, I have prayed to God to help me become more, a more confident person in the things I do. This past year during soccer season, I suffered a concussion, causing me to be out the rest of the year. 
When I first found out about my concussion, the first thing I said was, why God, why? With it being my senior year, I of course did not want it to end with a concussion. While sitting on the benches at practice, watching everyone run around and have fun, I still asked myself, why God, why me, why now, why, why, why? Then one day, while watching the girls practice, it hit me just like when the ball hit me in the face and caused my injury. God asked me, made me go through this painful experience because it was a good, it was a way for me to get his word out to those who need it and help me gain my confidence. The next week at FCA, Mr. Reams and Steve Stroh passed out little cards to give to each player on each sport team. The card had the Lord's Prayer on it. At first, I was nervous to go in front of the team and talk to them about God. But I prayed about it, and as I conquered my fears, I passed out the cards and talked to the team about joining FCA and getting into God's Word. I then prayed day and night to God, asking Him to, get, to show the girls on the team more about Him. The next week, God answered my prayers. Revive Ohio came to the practice to give all the players a Bible and a wristband to help, them, to help guide them through the Bible with six main verses. At the end of the practice, more than half the girls said they wanted to follow the paths of God and I had never been more delighted in my life. I could feel the change happening to the soccer team. I'm Christian Duro from Kenton High School. Raised in a Christian house household, the Lord Jesus Christ has been the center of my life as long as I've lived. During my 10th grade year of high school, my family started having problems. One night after a football game, I came home to find my mom sitting in her running car with my sister in the back seat. I immediately noticed that my mother was in tears, so I asked her why she was upset. She then told me to get into the car and she would explain. I found out some difficult things about my father. I asked, why God, why are you doing these things to us? These questions were not that were eating away at me wouldn't be answered right away. Christ had to be the center of my life during that time. He taught me patience and forgiveness because my father would not admit to doing anything wrong. During this hardship, I grew dear and close to Christ. Through FCI, I was able to fellowship with other Christians who have gone through similar situations and we could talk about how God was working in our lives and how we saw him through the mud in our lives. I couldn't do this alone, though, and on a big help for me on my journey was my pastor, Dave Dooley. We play guitar together at church and FCA and worship the Lord through everything. I grew up in church and in the eighth grade, I felt high on loving Jesus. I felt like everything was going perfect and nothing could possibly go wrong. But shortly after that, things started to go downhill. I got my second concussion and was ordered to stay home from school for two weeks. When I was able to return, I could only go for half days. A lot of people accused me of faking my concussion and I felt alienated by my friends. I blocked God completely out of my life for two months and I can now easily say those were the worst two months of my life. Finally, I accepted that I was experiencing pain for a reason and I began to pray to God again and wait for His answer. The closer I became to God, the better I felt, and eventually I healed completely as I surrendered myself to His plan. I'm thankful for the pain and suffering that I've been through because now I understand God's unconditional love. FCA has impacted my life greatly over the past three years since Parkway reinstated the group. It's helped me be more open about my faith and about sharing my love for Jesus with others. People need to know that there will always be someone who is willing to listen to them and to love them. I plan to use my college degree to do just that as a counselor. I want to be able to serve by leading others in the right direction and by helping them get back onto their feet and toward the ultimate goal. I'm Garrett Eikenberry from Hard Northern High School. It wasn't until 2014 that my faith really started to become my own. My girlfriend bought me a copy of Kyle Eidelman's Not a Fan. That book has changed my life in a lot of ways and made my faith really mine. FCA has really helped me in a ton of ways. One way is is it's helped me come out of my shell. Getting the opportunity to share my faith openly with my friends and peers felt weird when we first got our FCA, but it now feels like something I couldn't go on without having. Another reason it's helped me is it really helped me see my passion. Getting up in front of the group and giving the lesson is something that I'm really passionate about. I want to be a preacher someday because of these experiences at FCA, and I may never have realized this passion without God blessing me with FCA. I want to go to college and earn two degrees, one in ministry and one in professional writing. After I graduate, I want to write for some sort of company like a newspaper or magazine. I want to do this to get better at writing, but more importantly, to learn about how the real world is for real working people. After I have a grasp on how life works for the working man, I want to begin using my ministry degree. I either want to plan a church or be a senior minister at one. 
It was when I was young that I invited Christ into my life, but it was in high school that I became really close with Christ and decided it was time for me to be baptized in December 2015. About two months later, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. I felt like the world was coming to an end. I was confusing, questioning, why me? I did not want to have a disease for the rest of my life. I was about to finish out my junior year and go into my senior year. I went through this stage of anger with God for a couple of months. Volleyball season was just beginning and I knew that I needed God to help keep me going. I needed Him to give me the strength. I knew that I could not do it on my own anymore. I knew that God would always be by my side. And in that moment, I knew that He would not leave me or forsake me. The past few years, I have had the opportunity to help lead small groups at our middle school through FCA. God helped me during some tough middle school years and I have gotten to give back. This year, I have been able to speak at the middle school FCA and share how God has used my disease to help me have a different perspective on things, God's perspective. I have enjoyed speaking to other small groups or teams such as volleyball or cheerleading. Being able to share the importance and purity in relationships and helping girls make good choices is very important to me.